The black and white mice put on their chest apps and find their positions on the board. A player is a man we know well. One of the black pieces seems to understand him and moves forward one square. The, the player he is playing with is a gorilla. He seems to be in great distress. Iron Man has become a doctor in this universe. His superpower is no longer to build battle armor, but to talk to various animals. The Queen of England learned of the doctor and summon him personally. In gratitude for the little healing of her dog, the Queen gave him a private estate in a beautiful setting. This estate provides help for all the animals that come to it. The little later met a girlfriend who loved adventure, but a sudden accident killed her at sea. Since then DeLittle has been devastated. He closed the door of his estate and isolated himself from the world. Until one day, a young boy enters his manor. He was soon stunned by the sight before him. The manor was actually a vibrant paradise full of plants and animals. He didn't have to go far before he saw a puppy. The puppy also noticed him. Tommy was so scared that he backed up, but the next moment, he was caught by a trap. At this time, DeLittle was still in the house playing chess with Gorilla. Suddenly, he hears a noise coming from the window. DeLittle goes to the window and finds the boy hanging by a net in the distance. He rushes to get the peacock to flaunt its tail to block the window. He and a few animals discuss the fact that there should be only one human here. When they hesitated to save the boy, a girl came to Tommy's side. She introduced herself as Lady Rose and asked Tommy what he was doing. The little was still in the house, pretending to be dead like a possum. Rose rescued Tommy. The two of them come looking for Dr. Dolittle with their own agenda. Tommy knocks on the door and is startled by the gorilla. Rose comes in and finds Dolittle and says that the queen wants to call him to the palace to heal him. But Dolittle doesn't want to get involved in this. Rose, of course, doesn't give up. At that moment Tommy climbed in through the window too. He brought a wounded squirrel with him. As soon as Dolittle saw the injured animal, he asked his assistants to prepare for surgery. Rose is surprised that he would rather save a squirrel than treat the queen who is in danger of dying. A squirrel was placed on the operating table and prepared to be rescued. He was operated on by Iron Man and a group of animals. They each speak a different language but can't understand each other's meaning. Dub dub, forceps please. Here you go. The boy could not even look away when he saw the scene. After a lot of work, they successfully removed the bullet from the squirrel's body. At that moment, the parrot told DeLittle the bad news. The Queen of England is seriously ill. If the Queen dies, the deed to the estate will fall into the wrong hands. And then all the animals here will be homeless. A gorilla named Chi Chi fainted when she heard the news. So highly skilled Dr. DeLittle had to promise the animals to go to the palace to treat the queen. He was forced by the animals to shave off his beard. DeLittle was instantly 20 years younger. Then he took the animals on a long ride to Buckingham Palace. DeLittle entered the bedroom in style with a large group of animals and flies. He met Mutt Flea, an old alumnus of his medical studies. DeLittle then had the puppies crawl on the queen for diagnosis. The puppy kept licking the queen's face. He told DeLittle that it smelled a plant. DeLittle then got up and went to the fish tank and planned to ask the witnesses who were there. An octopus noticed him and said that the queen had taken a sip of tea and collapsed. DeLittle seems to have thought of something at this point in his investigation. He asked the doll to look for the scent on the herb catalog. DeLittle took a closer look and instantly understood everything. The queen was poisoned by a plant called a trope of belladonna. If she does not take the antidote within seven days, she will die. DeLittle investigated here and was convinced that someone in the palace wanted to kill the queen. So he quietly let a stick insect lurk on the picture frame. The antidote to cure the queen is in the Eden tree on an uninhabited island. He told Rose to watch over the queen and keep the dog on guard. He went to the island to look for the antidote. Tommy wants to go with them. He always wanted to be DeLittle's teacher, but he was quickly rejected by DeLittle because the journey was too dangerous. So Tommy returned home sullen and unhappy. The next morning, he was woken up by a giraffe with his tongue. The parrot suddenly invited him to board the boat with him. Then Tommy successfully boarded the boat with the help of the giraffe and several other animals. Then they suddenly found a warship behind them. The little raises his binoculars and finds that the ship is the monthly sent by a bad congressman. How is this little ship going to get away from the warship? The little leaps into the sea and joins the polar bear. They set a big trap on the help they found. With the help of the whale, the little ship is like an engine, and it's speeding across the sea. 
The warship blasted over the side of the boat with a cannon blast. This scared the gorilla let go of the rope. De little in the sea fell rapidly. Gorilla on the side shivering with fear. It is a disgrace to King Kong. Tom Lee immediately rushed forward to grab the rope. Other animals also rushed to help. They finally rescued De little from the sea. With the help of the whale, the boat soon disappeared before the eyes of the warship and disappeared without a trace. In the night De little told the boy that the place where they were going was not on the map because the place only existed in DeLittle's wife's diary. So they went to an island to find DeLittle's wife's diary. DeLittle sneaks into the palace. He used a group of ants on the ground to unlock the door. Tommy then used his skinny body to climb through the fence and into a room full of lions. He climbs up to the eaves and carefully walks across the drawbridge. Then Tommy went to the underground treasury and found DeLittle's wife's diary of adventures. But a lion's roar startled him. On the other hand, the guards found DeLittle and dragged him out of the pipe. It turns out that their boss is DeLittle's father-in-law. He has always opposed his daughter's relationship with DeLittle, and now DeLittle tried to steal his daughter's only relic. So he threw DeLittle into the cage without saying a word. Then a tiger slowly came out. The animals on the boat learn of DeLittle's play and go ashore to help DeLittle. The polar bear uses a bomb on the other side to attract their attention. Gorilla rushed to the cage and jumped on the tiger. Then he jumped on the back of the tiger and then strangled the tiger's neck to make it completely surrender. Tommy got the diary in the confusion. Just as he is excited to take the diary to DeLittle, he was ambushed by Mudflea. So the diary falls into Mudflea's hands. He also fired a cannon that destroyed DeLittle's boat. The, <laughs> the crowd was in a state of despair. However, the king could not bear to see DeLittle's downfall and went forward to inspire him. Although he hated DeLittle, he was willing to help him for the sake of his daughter. He then gave DeLittle a new boat. DeLittle's team, with the help of a large group of whales, followed the Mudflea warship to the uninhabited island in the diary. They crossed the mountain to a cave, but Tannen was caught by Mudflea before he could find Eden Tree. At that moment, the rocks in the cave began to turn red. The next second, a fire dragon appeared. The fire dragon spewed fire at the soldiers. DeLittle and the others hid behind a rock. Mudflea stepped into the pit and fell down while running away. The duck was so scared that it laid a duck egg. Then the fire dragon used its body to roll up DeLittle and lifted him to its front. DeLittle learned the dragon language and began to talk with the fire-breathing dragon. He found that the fire dragon's stomach was not good, as if it had eaten badly. So a group of animals gathered around the dragon and performed surgery on the spot with DeLittle's comfort. DeLittle pulled out a bunch of armor in its stomach. The dragon was removed from the stomach and intestines of the foreign body feel much better. Fire-breathing dragon to thank DeLittle took them to find the legendary Eden tree. The animals built a human ladder to pick the fruit that can cure all diseases. At this time, the queen in the palace has lost consciousness. Just as the counselor was about to pronounce the queen dead, DeLittle and his animals arrived in time. The animals went to stop the guards. Finally, Tommy managed to catch the Eden fruit that was thrown from the roof of the building. He dripped the juice into the queen's mouth. The queen soon woke up. DeLittle came to the ambush of the stick insect and learned the truth that the counselor had poisoned the queen. The guards rushed forward to hold the senator and found the red bottle of oral fluid in his right pocket. Finally, the congressman's plot is crushed. Tommy gets a kiss from Rose. DeLittle's animal estate is reopened to the world. You can subscribe and leave comments if you have any ideas. Thanks for watching. See you next time.